Once upon a time, not long ago, in the early 99s and 2000s, there was a film queen performer by the name of Allura. Allura's expression on the floor was about being a free spirit. Raw drama. At the time, film queen performance was a relatively new category, evolving from always style Vogue. If I'm totally honest, when I first came out, I always thought that Allura Vogue like a virgin. As I got older, I quickly realized her style, her vogue, her cadence, her persona, her spirit directly influences the style of vogue, not just femme queen vogue, but dramatic vogue as a whole. She is the building block to so them. many of our legends and icons of today have directly drew from the talent that is the powerhouse Allura. Do what I'm doing, bitch! Do what I'm motherfucking serving! Do what I'm serving, bitch! Do what I'm serving, bitch! I said once upon a time not long ago, this is the Nelly Neon Show. Welcome back to the Nelly Neon Show. I'm your host. I'm legendary in the ballroom scene for realness with a twist and schoolboy realness. 14 years in the game and that's what makes me an authority on Vogue. Without further ado, let's get into the allure influence. I'm going to tell my kids that this was Star Revlon and they would believe me. This looks just like Star. It's Allura, but you can tell, like, these two clips give off the same energy. Like, you can tell that Star sits at home and she's studied Allura and has mastered her performance and has built upon it. That's what makes Star such a great performer, that she drew from one of the greatest performers to ever exist, Allura. Whenever Star is in a bob wig, it just gives the reincarnation of Allura. Like... Wow. People were not running to the back and busting a dip. This was Allura, and it's still popular today. We're still running to the back and doing dips. The girls were not dipping off the panel. Allura was creating shit. Look at how Chloe transformed this move, and without Allura, it would not have existed this way. I'm telling you. Allura's hand clap dip. 100% hers, 100% original. Katrina, Alora's daughter, made the hand clap part of one of her signature moves. And then Baby Hurricane, Katrina's son, three generations of performance. Do y'all see Alora's influence? And Katrina came and gave, oh, that's me, that's mine. But it started from the mother, Alora. Did Alora just suck dick at the end of a battle? Surely no one will copy that. But they did. Baby Hurricane literally went to one of the judges, gave them head, wiped his mouth off into a soft and cunt dip. The Allura influence. Let's get into her creation of one of the nastiest dips in ballroom, the Neckbreaker Dip. Created by the legendary Allura, the Neckbreaker Dip involves performing an illusion where it appears that the person is breaking their neck while they're doing a dramatic dip. If there is one person in ballroom that is keeping the spirit of Allura alive, I will have to say that that is no other than the legendary Katrina. So much so that Katrina's signature dips are actually her mother's. But she has done a phenomenal job of keeping Allura's legacy alive. The legendary Katrina has always paid homage to her mother Allura, making the neckbreaker dip one of her signature moves. And when Katrina is feeling it, you are going to get a nasty neckbreaker dip from her. The neckbreaker dip does not discriminate. You don't have to be a female figure or a femme queen. As a butch queen, Icon Deshaun is serving us a nasty, clean neckbreaker dip at Street Star. And Vogue is limitless. He went the next year and served us a spinning neckbreaker dip. Like, what? I love to watch different people do different things because Selena served us a softer, calmer neckbreaker dip, but the neck was broken nonetheless. The icon Laomi is one of the most famous vulgars to ever exist, and it's no secret that her performance is heavily influenced by Allura, so much so that she still channels Allura and her performance to this day. Everybody emulates somebody, and when they ask Laomi who she wanted to be when she grew up, I wanna be, I know her, I know her. 
and Laomi delivered Allura. This neck breaker dip was perfect. The timing, the execution. You can literally see the spirit of Allura enter Laomi's body. She does the neck breaker dip and you can see the spirit leave her body. Like what? Laomi snatched off her ponytail, wrapped it around herself and did the neck breaker dip. Like Allura lives in that lady's body. Hey Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. Shout out to all my subscribers. We are almost at a thousand. Please drop a sub if you want to see more videos like this.